comes. First, I, I am so happy already that we, we have the conference here and uh, all these delegates have turned up in such large numbers. I think it consolidates Kenya's position as a critical voice in Africa uh, uh, around the question of the rule of law. Indeed, one of our side events is sponsored by the government of Japan, mm -hmm. uh, a very, very important member of our organization, and it's on the rule, entrenching the rule of law in Africa and Asia. Uh, Kenya is proud to be leading on this continent as a voice of reason, as a voice of, uh, of, of that supports democracy, the rule of law, and, the, and human rights. And I think that that's an important thing to do. Uh, because we do not have enough voices. Secondly, I think we are privileged to be able to consolidate emerging opinion around some key questions of international law, including some that you have uh, mentioned. And uh, we expect that by the end of this meeting, when we have the... For example, we are very, very, very keen to have key resolutions on uh, how to combat terrorism and how to undertake counter-terrorism within the tenets of the rule of law. And if we have a consensus on that, we could have uh, the Nairobi principles. Well, that would be, for me, a very good uh, legacy of my office, if we were able to get uh, that out of this Nairobi meeting. But finally, and more importantly, is the, to, to keep uh, bringing to a common forum countries that are experiencing the same problems so that we can share experiences, so that we stop replicating uh, mistakes, so can, we can leapfrog to solutions, mm -hmm. solutions that work. And uh, in Kenya, we have a very, very open mind, and uh, we look forward to learning from our, our, our guests, many of them very experienced. But with some humility, we look forward to some, uh, many of our guests learning from our own experiences mm -hmm. here because we have had some successes. Uh, and I think that they could help other countries to move forward. Okay.